your only all-local morning news. Fox 2 News Morning starts now. Food allergies can be dangerous, even deadly, and you might be surprised about how prevalent they are. Tina Santavati is here with more on this. What can we do about this? Well, the, we're actually raising awareness because some kids, even adults, I suppose, have food allergies and don't know it. One in every 25 Americans has a food allergy, resulting in over 300,000 emergency room visits every year. Eight foods account for 90% of these allergies. Joining us now is Ann Munoz Furlong and allergy specialist Dean Mitchell. Dr. Dean Mitchell. Jill, thanks for being with us. Thank you. Thanks for having us, Tina. Tell us what the eight foods are that account for 90% of all the allergic reactions. Well, the eight foods are milk, eggs, wheat, soy, peanuts, tree nuts, which are almonds or pecans, fish or shellfish. But any food can cause an allergic reaction. Boy, and these foods are so commonly found in so many things. It's so difficult, these families who have these severe food allergies. Let me ask you this, is this underdiagnosed? Because I have friends who take their kids to the doctor, kids who have some congestion or runny nose, and they suddenly discover they've had a food allergy for a couple of years, a milk allergy or something. I think it is underdiagnosed, Dina. I think that a lot of times children present with symptoms such as rashes, uh, stuffy nose, or even asthma, and parents don't realize that it could be related to a food allergy, and it's very easy to test with a simple uh, allergy blood test called the Immunicap, which can be done by their pediatrician or their family practitioner. Yeah, now this is new, this blood test. Tell me, because we're used to hearing about the needles going in your back to test for allergies, so how does the blood test work? The blood test is terrific. All the uh, child has to do is give a small sample of blood and the algae antibodies that are in the blood can be tested you know on a machine in the lab and within a couple of days the parents get back a specific answer if the child is allergic to peanut or if it's to milk and then with the you know, appropriate uh, consultation with the doctor can be educated on what to do. Yeah, what can you do? There's not a lot you can do, is there? Besides avoid those foods, of course. Well, once you get a diagnosis, it's critical to completely avoid the food to which you are diagnosed to be allergic, and that's where education comes into play. There's lots of information from the Food Allergy and Anaphylaxis Network on our website, www.foodallergy.org, where parents can go and download information about diagnosing food allergy or managing day-to-day, -day, whether it's in school, restaurants, camps, going on vacation. Okay, and just real quick, one last question. Is there, are there telltale symptoms you should look for? I mean, there's obviously, if your child has a severe allergic reaction, you're gonna notice it, but subtle signs that there might be a food allergy? The subtle signs are sometimes if your child is having persistent diarrhea or vomiting from a particular food. Also, if they're just having um, rashes, people might not always tend to immediately think that it's due to the food, but this is an early warning sign that it can be a true food allergy. All right. Well, thank you both for being parents, with us. Oh, sorry. Pardon me. Let me just add one thing. The other thing parents can, can look for is usually these symptoms occur very quickly after you introduce that food. Even if they, the symptoms go away, make sure you talk to your doctor about that. All right. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. We'll put a link to your website on our Thanks. website.